Hey guys, and welcome back to Armed and Dangerous. When we last left off, we were in the defense of Dick Turpin Village. Let's continue. Right, what are we looking at here? Okay, that's not bad. We have a little bit more uh, detail in the surroundings this time. Oh, shit. These guys are actually... Um, I apologize to whose house that was. Maybe. Kind of. That was a little bit awkward. Well, hopefully we can reprogram those robots to being construction bots. Yes, I don't see a problem with that. Whilst we're mercilessly murdering all of the king's men. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> we shall try not to destroy any more of the local populace's houses. They say we shall try. Oh, God. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Who cares, right? They should be grateful that we're actually protecting their village at all. Even though they are unbelievers in our cause. Yes, indeed, Roman. Sawing someone in half with one of these probably doesn't hurt that much. Oh my god, look at them all. You know, I almost feel like I'm playing Total War or something. With all those formations of enemy soldiers. Oh, the humanity. Oh, that was a nice one. Hey, see that guy? He was running for the sheep. I saw him. All right, here they come. Wave 200. Oh, where are these guys coming from? Literally coming out of the uh, destroyed house. Are they climbing up? They might be climbing up the cliff face, maybe. Oh, there's more. There's more coming from the side. That's fine. Oh, God, they're actually shooting at me. That's not good. Oi! 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 Oh, we're getting overrun! Oh, no! Overrun! Oh, my God! Right, let's get out of that aiming mode. Murder these guys. So there's one that's made it inside. Oh, man, look at this. They are close. They are really close. Definitely need to work on the mortar a bit more. There we are. Not bad. Oh, why are they so close? They're cheating. And we have a plane dropping in loads of explosive barrels, which is quite nice. They are actually getting a couple of cheeky shots off on us as well. Which is jolly rotten of the bastards, to be honest. It might be a spleen, Roman. It may well be. Ah, <sighs> Okay. All things considered, I think we're doing rather well. Now, I don't know what the deal with that plane actually is. Or who is piloting said plane. Oh. That upgrades us to, like, rockets. Okay, I don't remember seeing that before. I like it. Ah, oh, okay. Well, this does seem to be a formidable uh, armored turret, at least. These rockets are cool. Definitely. Oh, they're not unlimited. That's unfortunate. Well, you do now, Roman. And I'm pretty sure you said that before as well. Just saying, buddy. Okay. Now, I find it interesting. And we now have another token. Uh, I find it interesting <coughs> that you have to let a hundred enemies through. That seems... It seems quite hard to fail this task, should we say. It's actually also quite hard to hit those barrels. Oh, they're retreating. They're retreating! Run, you dogs! Run them down! Oh. There was all those formations of troops way off into the distance there. I thought uh, they might have more testicular fortitude than that. But hey, we won. The cowards are routed once again. How many did we kill? Only 358, actually. I would have thought it was significantly more than that. At least, it felt like it was significantly more than that, anyway. Ooh. I'm just guessing that we have this turret in our back pocket, that we carry it around with us. At least, that's what I'm imagining. Good work. <laughs> oh, 
Yes. young girl there are things far far greater than simple childhood stories things you do not yet understand indeed the lady of the pond is real and only i access know the way to her yes but you're as blind as a bat you silly sod john <laughs> why do you mock me so friends i am but an old man my knees are weak my back is stiff, and I'm about as incontinent as they come. <laughs> but there is one thing I do know. Upon our shoulders rest the hopes and dreams of an entire nation. And I'll be damned if I'm not going to do anything about it. Oh, damn. Yes, but we need him. Oh God! Oh yes, this is quite cool. Another nice little upgrade. Save the Dick Turpidites. The king has appeared. Uh, no, the king has kidnapped peasants from the trenches on the outskirts of Dick Turpin Village, while Q and Jonesy guard the village. Free those peasants. Your mission. Destroy the three Goliaths. Return the three peasants to their homes. Tip. You can only carry three presents at, presents? Peasants at a time. Yeah, so we now have a jetpack, which is rather spiffy. Not sure how that senile old man actually made this thing, but hey. I mean, it's kind of more of a rocket jump, and then you slowly glide back, uh, yeah, glide back down to Earth. It's cool. I like it. Now, this mission is also very easy to fail. Oh, God, here they come. All right, luckily, we've got our friendly old rocket launcher here. And we're going to be using liberal amounts of that thing. So, we need to catch up with these peasants. And look at this place. This is cool. Really? Thank you. And I love the mobility that is afforded. Yeah, well, maybe. Okay, there we are. Nice. Now, these things we can't actually destroy uh, with traditional weapons. But we can run up to them. Oh, Jesus Christ. We can run up to them and blow their backs up, which is kind of quite easy, actually. Right, we've got a peasant in tow. Now, you can fail this mission. If these uh, guys actually get to where they need to be, you will fail. But, you know, it's quite, you know, hard to actually allow that to happen. Unless you don't understand that you have a time limit, of course. Okay, let's just destroy this. Because they're endlessly generating drones. Nice. All right, well, we'll leave it at that for now. Damn, look at all these guys escorting these Goliaths. I would love to know more lore about this universe. It's just batshit crazy. And that hurt. That really hurt. There we go. Uh, you're a diamond geezer. That's good. You've destroyed the Goliaths. Yes, cool. And all we have to do now is, like, return the peasants to their home. Such a quick and easy mission. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, God. That's what's raining death down on us. Let's nuke that. Alright, let's get out of here. I love the jetpack. So much fun. 
really does change up the gameplay quite a lot as well. See this little sod over here. Get out of here, bud. There we go. Not bad. I do like the fact that you can only hold eight rounds for the sniper rifle, but you can hold 1,100 for the machine gun. I'm not sure how they work that out, but hey. Yeah, tell me about it, Roman. I think that when I'm at work sometimes, you know, all this rubbish littered all over the place. Not one of these is a hundred pound note, if such a thing would exist. Okay. Oh yeah, you're dead. Oh Christ! See that fucker come down. Oh, ouch. There we go. Well, let's bank one of these peasants. Now, somewhere around here, actually, there is the upgrade for the rocket launcher. <laughs> yes, well, they are peasants, Roman. Did you expect anything from these guys? They don't even know their ass from their elbow. Yeah, up here, I think, is the... Ooh. That's extremely large explosive, sir. Let's demo that building. Yeah, I thought there was more enemies inside. That's cool. Yoink! Ooh, look at those. Some seriously nice... Oh, we don't have any explosives at all. Bugger. Okay. Yeah, there's some serious missiles back there. I'd like to know what actually happened here. I mean, look at the size of that artillery piece. Monstrous thing. Now, I'm pretty sure... Hmm. Somewhere around here was the upgrade. There it is, in that building. There we go. You found a token. Oh, that's the token. I do vaguely remember where that was. But where is the upgrade for the rocket launcher? There's one on every map. It's probably not that far away. And who is shooting me? Where are you? There you are, you little sod. Sit down and shut the fuck up. And you... You're gone too. Now what I would like... Yes, nope, that's some ammo. Guys, if we could have some explosives, I'd actually be fairly grateful. I don't think we can destroy these. No. We need liberal use of uh, explosive... Ah, explosive ordnance. And we have... A golem. Oh, wow. Look at all this. It's a right little mini supply dump here. Nice. We have a golem's feet in the air for reasons that we probably shouldn't think about too much. Um, I know the upgrade for the rocket launcher is around here somewhere. I'm sure it is. It's, some, it's like tucked away. I remember that much. Nope. Well, I mean, I guess it's not super important on this level. We've basically completed this level anyway. Hello. Oh, you've got a jetpack. Which means you need to die. So I wonder, did the old man make these jetpacks for everybody? Or just for himself? Curious indeed. So this guy must have been fairly smart back in his, uh, back in his youth. You know, before he became decrepit and old and got a bad case of the hemorrhoids. Rather unfortunate when you think about it. Poor chap. Oof, these skyboxes haven't aged very well, have they? Oh dear. Shame we can't use that cannon. That would be cool. Can we blow those up? You seriously can't blow those up? I'm so disappointed in this fact. Oh man. That went awesome. Oh well. Now we haven't been to the pub yet. I wonder what weapons the pub has on this level. Let's go find out, shall we? Oh, Captain Von Hell. Hey, Captain Von Hell. Look at these weird designs. Enemy designs are really cool. Like, seriously. 
It'd be cool if there's like some kind of uh, model viewer in this game. Because there's so much here. Right, anyway, to the pub. To the pub! Let's go have a nice pint. always told me you can't save a people without hope. And plenty of ammunition. We've got both here. Your mum was a very wise woman, but we don't really get anything good for going inside there, so that was a waste of time. Oi, 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 what's all this? What's all this then? I say no. Bad sniper. Okay, counter sniped your ass. Ooh, hello. Let's bring these down. Ooh, <laughs> I love it when you lift the lid on those things. Oh, it feels so good. You always feel very powerful in this game, which is what I like. Maybe it's different on the harder difficulties, but then saying that, from what I remember, the harder difficulties are really hard, like stupidly hard. But uh, it has been some nearly 20 years since I played it, so. Oh, hey guys. Get wrecked. Now, we don't actually have to go the way over there, interestingly enough. Because we only have to hand these in, and then it's mission completed. So, this map is actually way bigger than it has to be. But then, maybe the point of it was so you could have some fun with the jetpack. Get used to it. Uh, divorce papers. Oh, unlucky. Well, at least you got the house to yourself now, dude. This is one hell of an artillery installation. Yes, die in peace, please, matey. Oh, you're not dead? Tougher than the average sniper. Okay. This map actually is dropping frames. It's the only map that I can think of. Patrick the Grunt. Oh, hey, Patrick. Should have kept quiet, mate. You would live longer. Right, let's finish it. You saved the day. Now get back to Dick Turpin Village. Rendezvous with the Lionhearts and the Shrub Patrol. And go get the keys of Zardos. Well, okay, then. Killed 60 enemies. Our bounty is ever increasing. We'll rendezvous at 0900 hours in the trenches. The resistance will never die. <laughs> yes. See you then. They love it. Well, that's good. Go on their way. Dick Turpin Village is defenseless. We better. We... I've got an idea. What is it, Amigo? Rexus, when we get to the planes, I want you to take the others and find the lady of the pond. Don't tell me you believe that rubbish. <laughs> Zardos keys are the only way into the wild wood. Just watch him, okay? What about you? Remember the old adage, attack when they're least expecting it? Yeah? Yeah, well, I'm not going to do <laughs> that. Instead, I'm going to cause a little diversion. Keep them off your backs and away from this village. Well, shouldn't we stick together? The village is safe now. At least I've done some good. Um, what have you done? What did you do? Read all about it! Read all about it! Midding nursing home levels. Hundreds of old age pensioners homeless. <laughs> uh. Be lost for days. Oh. Does the king's evil know no bounds? Nursing home. Why? Um. Well, Turpin Village is safe for the time being. Shouldn't we get after those keys? Yes. Yes, yes. As long as the village is safe. Uh, I mean, I suppose those old people were on their, their uh, last legs anyway. So, you know, for the greater good and all that. Liberate Midden Retirement Community. For some bizarre reason, the king has sent troops to occupy the luxury Midden Retirement Community. Only you and your jumper pack can end the occupation. The Lionhearts will meet you in the trenches when you're done. Your mission, destroy 14 bullseye houses and the Q... 112. Ooh. Remember to destroy only the buildings with the bullseyes. Right. Well, okay then. Let's dance. Hey, fellas. So let's go dig these old people out of their graves. Hmm. 
What have we got down there? I think that might be death down there. Oh, Q. I can't take my eyes off you for a second, obviously. Come on. There we go. Now, does that count as destroyed? I'm not actually sure. Some buildings can take quite a bit of stick. But we do have to be fairly careful with our explosives on this mission. We don't want to blast innocent people now, do we? Or do we? Well, I guess there's no profit in blowing up the innocents. Now, unfortunately, we do have a lot of these snipey bastards. Where are you running to, friend? There we go. Not bad, not bad. I suppose we... Uh are going to retire these old soldiers. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a wanted poster. Hey, friend. Really? See, that one didn't go up. I wouldn't live up here for all the tea in Armorsha. Well, I don't know. I mean, it, out of all the villages we've been to so far, this is one of the nicer ones. At least I think. I mean, you get a nice view. Up in this nice, fresh mountain air. It's not too bad, Roman, honestly. I mean, some of the holes we've digged out of the shit pit have been, uh, well, rather rough. But this, this is nice. Okay. We do, oh, hello. Oi. Oi. Quite enough out of you. Oh my god, these guys are everywhere. Oof. Yeah, at least we got the rifle. I'm not sure, actually. If they uh, recapture the gun emplacements. Doesn't look like it. That's fine. Now, where is the pub? Those pubs are basically weather spoons, aren't they? Definitely a chain. Either that... Well, they have mystical powers. Wandering pubs. Straight out of Discworld. Okay. Oh. Hey, buddy. What are you bending over like that for? You silly fool. Okay. Okay. Well, looks like my work here is done. Hmm. Oh, maybe not. Ah, hello. How do we get around there? Uh, I get the feeling like if I fall too far down, I'm gonna die. I kind of, I kind of get a out of bounds feeling. Oh, hey guys. Yeah, we definitely see you. Well, um. No, okay. Kind of looks like we're out of bounds, but I don't think we are. Cool. That'll work. That'll work nicely. i uh, have our last explosive there. Uh, we've got no... No explosives left at all. No rocket launcher. Oh, my. I'm going to have to go find some enemies to harvest. Hmm. All right. Oh boy. Look at this map. This map is awesome. I actually. Ooh, you can actually see where the bullets run out of uh, range there, which is quite interesting. <laughs> I mean, they're still trying. Look at the AI, though. The AI knows exactly where we are. They seem to be able to see for miles. Luckily, we can reach out and touch them with this uh, lovely weapon here. Alright, good, good, good. Let's go. Oh, God. Ooh. That is so sketchy. Oh, there's the pub. Oh, okay. All right, well, time for a pint. Yeah. Um, um, no. Okay, so, wait. So we can come down here and we don't die? That is curious game design. Uh, but now we're down here. How do we get up? That looks a little bit more promising. And what's in this tunnel here? Is there some kind of upgrade? 
Ooh. There's our friend though. Okay. Good to know. Well, let's go see if the pub has some explosive ordnance for us, shall we? Something with a little bit more boom. Right. Off the pub, you limey bastards. My pub. And in the back of the barn, there are three holes. So, he goes up to the first one, and... What? Oh, it's Roman and the Lionheart. Actually, it's just Roman. Um, but what was you uh, talking about, sir? Right. Well, we don't want the rifle, the Hawking's rifle. Ha, huh, Hawking's rifle. That makes me laugh. Hmm. Okay, so let's have a little look through the village. Oh, someone's having a bad time. Sounds like someone is smoking too much. Oh, fuck. Hello. You're done. Okay, how far up does this rabbit hole go? So, you know, I haven't found any bases yet. Maybe there isn't any on this level. Huh, I'm not sure. Oh! Oh, God! Unless these guys just periodically spawn, which is what I'm thinking happens. Okay. Ooh. Rifle is definitely becoming more useful than I thought it would be. Right, let's get this Goomba out of the way. Really? No, you're dead. Okay. Let's go. See if we can bomb this guy. From above. Surprise, motherfucker. Okay. I'm really hoping that we have enough explosives to deal with this guy. I think we do. Although, all of our explosives seem to have flown past him. Come on. There we go. Yep, you certainly have been broken. It's a shame we can't grab his minigun. Okay, sniper bullets. Lots of these around here. I wonder if we can use those on him. Might be worth experimenting. Hmm. These maps are so strange. There's like no detail, surface detail anywhere. It's weird, but it gives it a very smooth look, a very clean look. I actually really, really like the graphics. I really do. There's no detail on anything. It's almost like playing um, playing a game with some kind of zero texture mod. But it's definitely giving the game a very nice aesthetic. Who is shooting me? I don't know. <coughs> Alright, anyway, let's go to the pub. Restock our ammo. Down with the, Down with the king! Yes, 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 yes. Down with the king. Oh, hey, friend. Now, who's next? Well, I guess we're going this way. Let's try and rocket jump back over there. That's the trouble. Ugh. Uh, maybe? Yeah, that work. Looks like there's a ledge up. Imagine trying to get the collectibles on this level. They could literally be anywhere, man. be here for weeks. Why do I get the feeling we've been here before? Eh, it looks similar, but I don't think we have. Hey, fellas. Have liberal amounts of gun. There we go. Don't say I don't give you nothing. I definitely am failing to see where these guys are spawning in from. Uh, dude. There we go. Some death from above for ya. Roman style. 
Okay, cool. Alright, you're nuked. Oh, I suppose we've got the cannon now. Yes. Nice. Won't that work? Although the sticky bombs aren't super useful for destroying enemy troops. Ah, oh, so satisfying. In a actually very unsatisfying manner, to be honest. Right, let's get out of it. Yo! To the skies. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. Need to be very careful about firing off that grenade launcher. Because if we destroy a house that we're not meant to, we're in trouble. We're in big trouble. So we're definitely sticking to the machine gun. Oh, fuck. A, what's that? What did he say? A bowl of soup and a pint. Well, I've never heard that before, but you know what? A bowl of good soup and a pint does sound rather refreshing, I must be honest. Some nice beef with chunky vegetables. Hmm. I might have soup for dinner. There we go. It's raining lead, motherfuckers. Now, three left. Oh, three left, and I can see them all. That'll work. And we have three explosives left. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> see that guy. Can we reach it from here? Oh, we can. That was a hell of a shot. Oh, I approve of that. Good show. The retirees are safe. Get back to the trenches to rendezvous with the Lionhearts. Well, okay. Killed 70 enemy dudes. I'd love to know how many men the king has. Well, I mean, he's definitely got a lot less than he had. Can we get up to 200 thou? Oh, not quite. About time for a tea break, I Sounds think. good. Okay. Now let's split up like I said and... What's that bloody awful Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him. Oh, no, no, don't get up. We're just passing through. Ah, that's no good. Oh, I don't know. Sounds like all that bad. Cup of tea. A shrubbery bush or bouquet of petunias doesn't amount to a hell of beans when this god awful war is raging through our land. <laughs> Every garden is threatened. Yeah, you dummy. Hmm. Yes. And the people are in some serious danger, too. That's why we're going after the. Good point. Now you're right there. What good are gardens without people to tend to them? At least in death, they can act as damn good fertilizer. <laughs> the damn good fertilizer. <laughs> Heads up, man. We got trouble. <laughs> Keep away from that power, civilian. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> So you were saying, uh, <laughs> what kind of resistance is this? Oh. The Mrs. Shrub Patrol at your service. We're here to protect Everett Plant's bush and flower from the ravages of this war. Ah, a noble endeavor. Oh, that's it. We're off. Good idea. We'll rendezvous further ahead. You needn't bother. You listen to me, man. I know this is hard for you, but we've got to stick together. You hear me? Okay. To weep for all the plants we've loved and lost. I'm not <laughs> but weep today. Let it lay. Right. 
Get after that key. I'm gonna rattle them with a little diversion. I'll meet you at the Wildwood Gates. Why do I get the feeling you're the short saw here? Oh, death to the salad eaters. Let's not look too far into that one. <laughs> oh, fuck this game. Man, you know what? Sometimes you replay an old game and it <laughs> it's like opening a, a, a rancid box of shit that's been left in the attic for, for 15 years. And then sometimes you find some hidden gold. And for me, this game is serious hidden gold so uh yes anyway guys thank you very much for watching and as always till next time